it's December, so it is the season of reflection. Also shopping, but I haven't gotten around to shopping yet, so reflection it is. Um, I'm really seeing a lot of people talking about, you know, what they've accomplished this year, what goals they've met, how they've changed their lives. And every time I see something like that, I think about how much my life looks exactly the same in December of 2013 as it did in December of 2012. It's almost shocking, actually. Um, I made huge strides in 2013, and then all of those strides sort of backtracked, and I'm not entirely sure how that happened. Um, and that's interesting because I feel like internally I've changed enormously. Um, almost to a ridiculous degree, but externally everything looks almost exactly the same. Um, because last year at this time I had been traveling and, you know, I had, I had been to Costa Rica for a month and Amsterdam for a month and New York for a month and my plan when I got home from New York was to move back to LA and sort of continue on with my life, but that was the time that my father passed away and so um, you know, instead of moving, I decided to, you know, stay with my mom in the Bay Area and just be with my family for the holidays and then sort of start putting my life back together um, when 2013 rolled around. And, you know, that's exactly what I did. I moved back down to LA and this time I took all of my stuff out of my storage unit in the Bay Area and dragged it down to LA. And, you know, I picked up more client work. I, you know, really started moving in the direction I thought I wanted to be moving. Um, and then mid-year, um, in June, I started doing some really sort of intense personal work um, and really looking at some of the things that had been holding me back. Um, and I feel like I made enormous progress in that way. Like, I've actually learned what my feelings feel like and how to deal with them when they appear, which honestly is something I had never known how to do um, as a child or as an adult. I just didn't know what that looked like. And so I had to teach myself with, with a lot of help um, and spend a lot of time practicing that. And sort of as a result, um, a lot of my client work and a lot of my freelance work um, stopped working. Um, you know, I was, I beat my head against that wall for months. And when a um, whirlwind of factors kind of booted me out of my apartment in LA, um, it was at the time when I was supposed to be back up in the Bay Area to run my first half marathon. I had a huge work project due and suddenly I had to figure out this apartment situation and I didn't feel like I could find something in LA. So I ended up coming back to the Bay Area. And I meant to travel, I meant to get my own place somewhere, and somehow October went past, November went past, and I just got a little bit lost. And so basically, I'm in the ex I feel like I'm in the exact same place that I was last year. I'm at my mom's house for the holidays, and I don't know where I'm going next, and I don't know what my money looks like. And so it's very interesting to feel like nothing has actually happened. At least that's the way it looks on the outside, but know that things have shifted pretty dramatically. Because now what I have realized this year in the midst of all this is that I've been trying to force myself into a box that doesn't fit. I've been trying to be the writer who earns a good living at her writing and who hustles and markets and sells things and pitches and that all of those things kind of make me want to die. They just make me want to die and I didn't want to admit that for a long time because I thought if I wanted to be a writer I had to do those things. I just had to you know siphon some business sense in through my ears somehow and make it stick in my brain. I had to learn how to promote myself and to really network and do all these things you're supposed to do. And oh God, it just makes me want to die. And I realized that that's okay. I don't have to do those things. Um, 
I can make it work another way. And I had honestly never really thought that that was a possibility for me. I thought I had to do it the way I've seen other people do it. I thought I had to do it this way that I've been trying to do for years. And, but it took admitting what I really wanted to do, um, which isn't freelance writing. I, I mean, I love writing, but I want to do my own writing. I want to write books, I want to write screenplays, I want to write essays about things that really matter to me and that I think is, you know, I think are important. And so owning to the fact that I want to be doing my writing, not other people's writing, was a huge shift. And I realized that I could do that. I just had to separate the money from it. and admit to myself that maybe I'm not going to be earning my living with writing anymore and realize that that maybe doesn't matter so much. So I've decided to completely shift the way my life looks and do something just sort of random, anything really, anything that will allow me the time and the creative energy to write. So maybe that means I'll be working in a bookstore. Maybe that means I'll be, are there even bookstores anymore? I don't know. This is how long it's been since I've got a job. I think bookstores don't actually exist anymore. <laughs> Oops, new plan. Um, you know, sweeping floors at a coffee shop, it could mean anything. Um, and so I feel like I finally know what I truly want to be doing and I have a plan to do that. And that is something my ego had sort of been holding me back from for years because I felt like if I wasn't writing for a living right this second, now, I was a failure. And that's not really true. It's not really true at all. And it's been very freeing to realize that I can go live in a cheap place and do sort of a random job that 22 year olds do and buy myself time to write the things that are important to me. And I don't know if this is actually going to be the way the plan works. I, it doesn't matter. I'm just feeling very free in the fact that I can do it differently. I don't have to do it the way that I've been trying to do it and the way that hasn't been working for years. And so even though it sort of feels like I'm starting over again, next year, um, I feel like I'm starting over in the right way and I'm starting over in the way that feels true to me and to what I want. And, and I'm lucky in that there's just me. I can do it this way. I don't have responsibilities to a family or even to a pet that would mean this would be harder or that I wouldn't be able to do it. So, it's like nothing has changed and everything has changed. And so we'll see what 2014 is.